pregnancy update for you today. We're gonna touch on my complication. I had my 20 week anatomy scan. And I'm gonna tell you all about how baby's growing or not. And, oh, I'm gonna show you, if I didn't already, some ultrasound photos. Really, I didn't, I got a couple, maybe one good one, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you would think with this many, there'd be at least one that you're like, yeah, you know? That's the problem with today, you know? We're too picky. Imagine back in the day with like the scroll cameras, you know, the disposable cameras. You didn't have a chance to be picky, okay? Everyone had their eyes closed, it was blurry. Forget about it if the uh, film was overexposed. Okay, wh why am I talking about film? Oh, and I bought some maternity clothes. I'll share that with you. I actually went to Target. I did like a try on thing with me in the dressing room, so we'll share that. Fine, this is one of the tops. I didn't try it on, but I love it. It's red, it's maternity. It was 10 bucks, right up my alley. I bought some new shoes. I feel like a whole new woman. Guys, I seriously have been rotating two outfits for the past way too long <laughs> like i wore the same outfit three days in a row there's something wrong with that okay i needed shorts <sighs> okay this is getting off to a weird start i needed shorts i went to oldnavy.com ordered a bunch of stuff some stuff hasn't come in the stuff that did come in doesn't fit me the shorts size zero because i have a pair of old navy maternity shorts first of all i'm not a size zero i have them in a size two i'm not a size two but they're too big i think they do that like, I don't know, maybe to make us feel better. Like, oh yeah, you're a size double zero. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, anyway, I did not order a size double zero, so I have to return the shorts. Like, what a pain in the rear. And now I don't have any shorts that fit me. <laughs> because Target didn't have any either. Short story long. I bought some shoes, did I say that? I, I finally have clothes that fit me is what I'm trying to say. I feel okay about myself right now because I'm wearing something that's clean. <laughs> I swear I don't do drugs. Okay, <laughs> my anatomy scan. Let's talk about that real quick because I know you guys uh, are keeping up with my story and you want to know uh, results, progress, what have you. So I shared at 17 weeks, uh, my last, um, I don't know, update, that I have a complication. Uh, I have a bleed, a blood clot, it's called a subchorionic hematoma, and it was present at my 12-week ultrasound. I found out about it and really, really struggled hard with that. I thought I was gonna lose the baby uh, because it's large. Uh, they come in three. They come in three different sizes. They're categorized in three different sizes. Mine is large, and they're hoping over time it either gets smaller or completely dissolves in my body, or you know, I bleed it out vaginally. Um, I have had no bleeding my entire pregnancy. Uh, up until this point, I'm 20 weeks. And so going into my anatomy scan, that was the main thing that I was concerned about. Has it resolved? Is it still there? Is it smaller? Fingers crossed, because sometimes they get smaller over time. And most of the women that I have spoken to or who have commented or messaged me privately have said, I had one um, and it resolved within X amount of weeks. And most of those women, it was before 20 weeks. A couple of them said after 20 weeks. I, I wanna say 23 weeks is the farthest out that anyone had shared with me that their uh, subchorionic hematoma, their bleed, had resolved. And if, if you are unsure, you didn't watch my last update, it's a bleed between the amniotic sac and my uterine wall. So it it's, it's just a big blood clot and mine is huge. <sighs> okay, where do I progress from this? So I, I told her about it, and this ultrasound tech, she was much more open to talking to me during uh, the, you know, the ultrasound procedure, and she was very kind. She had been doing it, she was older, so she had been doing it for, I asked her like 25 years or something, and so I think maybe she felt more comfortable with her knowledge about it, and so we spoke about it like it, it wasn't the end of the world, you know what I mean? And whereas my last, ultrasound experience it was like tight-lipped everything was the worst news on the planet in my mind because i didn't know what was going on anyway i asked like is it still present and she actually showed it to me on the screen she goes yep it's a big one and it's right next to your placenta which is a bad area for it to be in obviously i'm still high risk i haven't spoken to my doctor yet about it they are 
I'll, I'll get there in a minute. Okay, it's right next to my placenta, which is not a great place for it to be. Uh, in fear of it growing larger and compromising my placenta. That's one of the uh, complications that could arise where my placenta begins to detach and then maybe fully er abrupts and which would send me obviously into labor, <sighs> which would result in obviously a preemie or if I'm farther along, maybe a preemie, maybe, maybe that won't happen at all. Uh, another situation that could happen is that if it's still there, since mine is large, um, as I get larger and the baby gets larger, the blood clot puts pressure on the amniotic sac, which uh, bursts the waters. So my water would break. I'm trying to say it, it could be a cause for early labor uh, because of the pressure that the blood clot puts on the amniotic sac which causes my amniotic sac to rup rupture and then obviously I would go into labor. Who knows how, if that will happen, one, or how far along I am if that does happen. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. So anyway, those are things to keep looking out for. It's still there, it hasn't changed in size, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm living my life, I'm still, very hopeful that everything will turn out okay, especially since I've made it farther along. I guess from what I've been told, the farther along I am, you know, the more hopeful they are that everything is okay. Another complication that could arise with this uh, subchorionic hematoma is low birth weight. And unfortunately, my baby is measuring small, a week behind to be exact, which is cause for concern. Uh, normally if this happens earlier in pregnancy, they will change your due date if, if the baby is measuring a week or more smaller than what they're supposed to be, you know? Um, at my last ultrasound, the baby was measuring, I think five days behind. And I think at the ultrasound before that, the baby was measuring fine, uh, on par, on task. The baby was measuring, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> On mark, the baby was growing as they were supposed to. You guys know. So um, I haven't spoken to my doctor yet, like I said, so I'm not sure what they're going to do, if they will change my due date, push it back, if that makes a difference at all anyway with the complication that I have. Or, I mean, obviously it's something that we're going to continue to monitor. I made another ultrasound appointment. Ugh, how many ultrasounds can someone have in one pregnancy? This is definitely the most I've had. I think I've had four already five four or five and this will be either my fifth or sixth i don't know and i'm only i will only be 24 weeks then so goodness gracious that's a lot of ultrasounds that's a lot of you know is it radiation that the baby some kind of ultrasonic something those rays <laughs> look listen i'm not a sonographer i didn't i didn't go to school for that okay anyway I'm okay with it because ultimately we're just checking on baby's progress and we're making sure the baby is healthy and growing and everything is going well. Um, so I think that's it with my with my ultrasound news. Uh, I will share with you, hold on, let me get done thing. Okay, some of you have been asking what prenatal vitamins I'm taking and since my baby is growing so great, I've, <laughs> I thought I would share with you. I'm just, I have to keep my humor alive. There's literally nothing I can do. I'm eating like a horse, okay? Most of my my belly here, I think most of it's food, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> what a riot. Okay, so initially I was taking these prenatals, which have rave reviews and they're more natural and all that stuff. However, they're not coated in anything. It's not, oh, I can't even. Okay, that's that's what they look like if you could even see they smell horrible. I can smell them right I mean, it's just not a pleasant experience taking these and I ended up like gagging every time I take them and just Listen, I just couldn't do it anymore. So I went to Amazon and I found these prenatal vitamins They are amazing pink stork uh, with added DHA, I'm pretty sure these have added DHA in them as well. I, the, oh, I wish I could take these. If you're a stronger woman than me, you get the, they're expensive. I'll link them below from Amazon. I want to say these were like 50-ish dollars for a two month supply. And this is like 20 something dollars, 22 something for a 30 day supply. But 
these are enjoyable. I've never enjoyed taking prenatal vitamins so much. So these have a, a gelatin capsule and the gelatin capsule is vanilla scented or vanilla flavored, whatever they do to it. It smells like vanilla, it's pleasant. You don't get any kind of aftertaste. It's wonderful. It completely changed my prenatal vitamin taking experience for the better. And I will buy these every month from now on out. I think I have it on automatic refill on Amazon. So I'll link these, be these below if you're interested in finding a prenatal vitamin. And great reviews on um, Amazon. Also the folic acid on here is folate. So it's the good stuff. Great ingredients. I went over it. It's probably like second best, but really first best, first choice because of the scent and the flavor and the non-gagging reflex I get. So I'll take these 100 times over before I take this. And then I'm also taking a DHA on top of it. This one's called One Fish, Two Fish, which I thought the name was super cute, but it also has great reviews on Amazon. So I went with these. I forgot how much these cost. I wanna say $20 for a two month supply. Nope, one month supply. Maybe they're cheaper than, I don't know. I put it on like automatic re, uh, refill. But I will say, since I've been taking these, I've only been taking one DHA a day added because this has DHA in it and I just, what's the use in overtaking DHA? I don't know. Anyway, let's go shopping at Target. I try some stuff on for you. I hope you enjoy shopping with me. I've been wearing the same outfit for three days straight. I rotate between two outfits. This is one of them. Here's my bait, here's my belly. So let's hope I get lucky with something. Please tell me it's possible to look cute in a maternity outfit. I think I'm having like a size crisis. These are a small, but they're so big. Guys, and this shirt just looks so frumpy. Oh man, I need help. Also, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Old Navy, like size zero, and it doesn't fit me. I'm not a size zero. <laughs> okay, so at first glance, this is cute, right? It's not maternity. It's a size small. It doesn't like hug the right spots. It's a little see-through where the white is, and it's still a little large. Like, I still can't even fill out a small Come on. Okay, this darker color is a little more flattering. Would you agree? Can't see my underwear. <laughs> and I know I could wear like nude underwear, but will I? This is also, it's the same style dress as I just tried on, but it's not maternity again. But I don't know, I think it's a winner. Yes, yes, model pose. <laughs> so this is a maternity dress. See how it hugs the body just differently? more flattering um I don't, i've never been one to wear like a leopard print but if that's all that's available i mean i'm down for it <laughs> i don't know it's cute it's lightweight it feels nice it's definitely in the running i'll have to check on the price so the leopard one i just tried on is 25 and the non-maternity is 23. Okay, this is also not maternity. I'm kind of busting out of this one. It's not very flattering. I mean, obviously it's not maternity, so I don't expect it to be. Hello, granny panties. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna pass on this. It was, it was on the clearance rack. It's like 10 bucks, but not worth it because it doesn't fit. Okay, this is maternity. It's $25. Um, it's cute, it hugs right. It has this like flap over it, you know what I mean? which I think is a cute little detail. But I don't know, I think I like the other dress better. What do you think? Should I come back for it? It is cute, I like the polka dots. I took a chance on this one. It's maternity, again, size small. I'm, n I'm just not digging the whole vibe. I mean, it is cute. I like the print. It's $25. I feel like everything in the maternity section is $25. I just wish they had just a smaller size for me. So it, it was a little, well, I don't know. Is this a good size? Oh, you guys. Shopping is so hard. 
This one, again, maternity, $23. It is very cute. It's not form-fitting, which is totally fine. Like, I don't care. I do like the print. Is it a little frumpy? I don't, I can't tell. I don't, I don't think so, but like from the side, can you tell I'm pregnant or do I just look like I ate a lot? Not that it matters. I don't know. I think I kind of like this one. It's really cute. And it's flowy and it's airy. Good for summer. I think I'm gonna get it. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> this is $23. It's a top if you can't tell. I'm not wearing a unitard. Um, I feel like I'm about to bust out in some kind of ballet moves. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. I will say the black is very slimming. <laughs> I kind of like this top a lot. It's $20. It feels nice, it's not too tight. It's a small medium for reference. All right, I think I'm gonna get it. Sure, <laughs> I need to wear something. <laughs> I left a couple of items in my cart, but the line for the dressing room was long, uh, so I, I'm not gonna try them on. And I didn't wanna make those people wait for me to like try more stuff on. <laughs> oh, whoops, there was no line when I came. So this top is $13, it's just cotton. It's a V-neck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it because it's white and that doesn't seem to work out for me very much. And then this is just like a tank top. It's maternity as well, but it's $9 versus the ballerina one that's like 20, right? Uh, but the difference is this one doesn't have the ruching on the side, so I'm not sure how it's going to fit. So I might buy it or see if they have a different color. So this is the maternity section at Target. It's quite small. It's just this little rack right here. And then this wall over here, a lot of pants, that belly band is great. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find any shorts that fit me slash that I wanted. Like, I already have a pair of jeans. These green ones are a size medium, and I tried the black ones. They did not fit. So instead of the black tank top, um, I wish they had this color in my size. I don't think this one is as see-through as, like, the thicker stripes. But I'm thinking of getting a, this color blue, like a heather blue, or this red, which is pretty bold, and I'm not even sure they have my size. Oh, great. I'm gonna go bold and go ahead and get the red. Oh, also, are these shoes gonna match? Is red and red like too matchy to wear together? Guys, I need a fashion coordinator, okay? I'm finally forcing myself to buy new shoes. Which ones are more grown up? This is a serious question. <laughs> I'm thinking these are more age appropriate, yeah? As my feet get more and more swollen, I don't think those are gonna work for me. They're too tight. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, listening to my pregnancy update, shopping with me. I had so much fun shopping. I cannot explain to you how much I needed maternity clothing that actually fits me. I feel like a brand new woman and I this is the first thing I have even like w worn yet. But I can just visualize the dresses with the new shoes that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm going on vacation soon, so I don't wanna look like a frump. You know what I mean? No one wants to look like a frump. Really, any day. I'm just, I'm just so excited about it. it. It's the psychological aspect of just buying new clothing or wearing new clothing or feeling good in whatever clothing you're wearing. I don't know what kind of psychological aspect role it plays, but I'm gonna say 100% positive you know what i mean anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out i hope you enjoyed your time here i always enjoy my time with you if you want to subscribe put a little more happy in your day and i will see you next time bye oh p.s thank you so much for the continued prayers and support i'm getting for a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby a healthy mama i'm not sick anymore oh my gosh i forgot to explain that my um like HG or very severe morning sickness ended at about 17 weeks. Maybe the 18th, 19th week, I was still at nighttime sick and very, very tired. But I'm 20 weeks now and hallelujah! I feel like myself again, like 70%, eh, which is close enough. <laughs> Whereas before I felt 3% uh, myself, so I'm feeling good. Also, you weirdos want a pregnancy shot for some reason, a belly shot. I aim to please. You will not see skin. That is a that is a warning right now. <laughs> so I showed it to you in my dressing room, but this is my belly. 20 weeks. I don't know. What is it supposed to look like? You know what I mean? This is what I look like. It's my 
my body looks like at 20 weeks pregnant. Gotta tell ya, I feel out of breath all the time. <laughs> and I'm always drooling. Okay, always hungry too. I eat like every hour on the hour and if I don't, you don't wanna be around me is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, bye.